Just don't show them, baby K. Oh, you just gave them a sneak peek. All right, that's all. So let's carve our names into this tree. Then lay beneath the beauty of her leaves. Will the birds and the bees seem to agree? We're strong as a maple, twice as sweet. We've had ups, and we've had downs. We've had warm nights, and we've gone round and round. What I know, this much is true. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to It's All Gritty. I'm Denise. And I'm Marcel. Hey, guys. Welcome to the homestead. Yeah, welcome to our homestead. If you guys don't already know, we're a small family that moved from the big city. Denver, Colorado, to rural America to start a homestead. Yep, and today we are on the home part of the homestead, you guys. Kind of. Kind we of. got a very busy day today, guys. It's home instead. Huh? Well, she's doing really good. Torbacula is on her legs. She's been outside every day. We're gonna have to introduce her back into a flock. We're here in our apple orchard where we have six apple trees that we planted, I would say probably two or so months ago. Um, the foliage is really just popping on these things right now. They're doing really good. But we are noticing that we're getting hit by some kind of bugs. Marcel did just pick a caterpillar off of one of the trees. We did order some of that tool fabric to put on the trees. Um, we are going to get to that really soon. We're going to protect these trees the best that we can. Apple trees so we can continue to let them flourish. But we're gonna get, a, get out of this apple orchard because these chickens are loud. So we are at that point where we have been kind of at a standstill with this next step. Yeah, we are kind of at a standstill with this next step because the inexperience concerns me a lot because you wanna get this right the first time. Right, you want to get it right the first time. And the wire that we bought, guys, for this is massive. It's four AWG wire. It's big, fat wire. Right? So, that being said, we've fought it the whole way because it's not very easy to bend and maneuver and all that stuff. We are inside the panel right now, guys, trying to figure out how to make that connection. And we have some options. Yeah, so with this day being packed full of things that we need to get done. Let's go show you guys what we're up against because it's been a bit of a struggle. Yeah, and in case you guys don't already know, I have a shirt with my name on it. You know what I mean? That way, I don't forget. We've done all the battling to get the wire in. We dug the trench, we laid the wire, we found where we wanted the entrance to be, we plumbed it in with the conduit, right? That was a nightmare. If you don't already know, you have to go back and check that one out, boy. We fought that. Turns out there's easier ways, guys, but we didn't have them then. So we did it the hard way, but we got it in, right? So this is where we're at right now. Guys, we are inside my panel here, and I gotta figure out how am I going to manipulate this big old fat wire guys look at this do i got something i can give a comparison with baby cakes there you go a screwdriver handle is fine guys this is a screwdriver handle you guys probably recognize that look at how fat that wire is guys it's almost as fat as my screwdriver so it doesn't bend very easy 
So I went through a few ideas, guys, with some professionals. And most of them told me that I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Go figure, right? They said you could just do it like the electricians do. Don't worry about it and get it done. And they said if it is too difficult, there's other options that we can do. And we'll discuss those as we do this because I want to try it the way the pros do it first. They don't make a big deal about it. We're going to try that. But if it doesn't work, guys, then we're going to try some of the other ideas. So what he's saying is if it doesn't work, we're going to take the long way. It's going to be a trip, guys. Check this out, man. I, I turned that into a pretzel. That wasn't easy. I don't like pretzels. Brings me back to this good old days when I was Bavarian. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm never Bavarian. I don't even know what that means. See though, we're gonna be able to do this, guys. I might have to move some stuff around here. And if I do, I will definitely tell you guys what I've done. And I'm not gonna try to teach anybody how to do this because I can't. But what you're gonna learn is that, that I can do it uh, with a little help, yeah? But we got a lot of stuff going on today, guys. And this is gonna take all of my attention. And I don't wanna miss the other part because we ran out of grain for our pigs, guys, yesterday. We've been feeding our pigs baby chick feed, and we've got 28 baby chicks. Those pigs eat five pounds a day a piece, plus their snacks. So I gotta get to the feed store. We're gonna go buy up some grain. We're gonna get back here, and we're getting back after this because we got a huge storm coming tomorrow, guys. I got texts from our friends. Thanks, guys keeping us up to date on what's going on because we ain't paying attention at all. So we trying to get this stuff ready because the storm will slow us down slower than we're already going, guys. We ain't trying to go any slower. Man, I had 16 cups of coffee this morning. We're ready. You know what I mean? All right, guys, let's get out of here. All right, so we're heading to the feed store because we have to get grain. Um, once again, I don't know. We keep forgetting things, guys. The list, I'm starting to text my list to Marcel. I'm catching on, guys, catching on. At the worst, it's gonna be very difficult to get this in here. I'm just gonna go for it, baby cakes. Is that okay? What do you guys think? Should I just go for it? By the time you answer me, I'll already have done something. I was getting scared there. I was getting real concerned. Stopping it. That right there is stopping it from dropping down. I think it's alright though. I think uh, 
I've got the ground to do. And then we'll torque, torque all these to specs. We'll get the specs off of the door handle. Look at me. I look a fright, guys. What do you expect? I'm working with electrical. Look at that right there. See? Ah! I got you again. All right. It's actually 20. I'm going to bump it all to 20. And then I'm going to go back and hit it again with the point A. This seems kind of like it's bending out. Okay, so now I think if I change it to 0.8, let's just see what it does on this one. Okay. It's actually 20.83. There it is. So we're just going to go to 20.8. There it is. All I need is a ground now, guys. We had some challenges there. We had to figure out how to get them in, right? Because it's tough to get those suckers in there. Then we had to figure out how we we're going to cut them. Figured that out. Figured out how to get them in there. Then we had to figure out the torque specs. And my, my torque wrench is foot pounds. And these are all in inch pounds. So we had to figure out how to convert those. And once we figured that out, guys, whammo, balamo, we got wires hooked up. Huh? How about that? Yeah. yeah. Would be way easier if I just moved it from up here down to there. And then ran this down like that straight into the, the top. What do you think of that? panel right there full of emptiness what we did it and we torqued it down and we put the grease on I know we didn't know about the grease when we were pulling the wire but we do now but we also know we want to protect these wires because they're aluminum and they get corroded so we put that electrical grease on there guys whatever it is you know what it is if you're a sparky if you're like me and you don't, you just make up names. Like electrical grease. There it is, man. This is what we got to do next. We need to run, we need to run some wires. We have to run some wires so we can put some breakers on here. Check this out. You ready? Y'all ready for this? What is this? That's a 20 amper right there. There's more. So we'll do all one side. What is this? This is a 30 amp breaker. I like 30 ampers too. Bam, what is this? This is a 20 amp breaker. We'll do 20s together like this. What? 
That's four breakers right there, guys. This is enough to run over to here. It's a little bit weird, huh? I think it's because of this one right here. I think they just, it's just because it's aluminum. You know what I mean? Anyways, the 220s will be for regular outlets, right? We can get everything we need over here for your office. And this one here, we can get everything over there for our bedroom for now. And these two, we can run. Problem is, I don't have... Should have got 10. Should have got 10 too. But we'll get 10 too for the air conditioners because these two here are going to be like by themselves. Right? Does that make sense? You're not going to hook anything else up with this. It's not like I'm going to hook two air conditioners up to. It's going to be one wire, one breaker, one accessory or utility or whatever they're called. Guys, it's a window mounted air conditioner. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's just me dropping everything. There it is right there, guys. So this is it. Unless I'm in unless I'm misunderstanding something, you can get eight to ten outlets to to one one breaker. So we're not gonna max it out. We'll go six to eight, right? Six to eight per. So what I'll do is I'll run my first wire over to baby cakes's area right and we'll get it close and then we'll put it in a box and we'll drop them from there does that make sense i'll hook them all to one how many ever plugs we want to do what do you think of that oh my goodness man once we have that hooked up power over there guys power over here guys then i can hook it up all the way Right now, I want to have everything in here to get our temporary power in the house. I want it in here now. That way, when we, uh, anyways, what was I going with that? Oh, my temporary power so that when I unhook or when I hook up over there, I don't have to mess around later. I don't even know what I was talking about, guys. I just lost my train of thought. I'm just so jazzed up that we got this. Look at that. Excited. Are you excited too? Mm -hmm. Bye. How about that? Need to find some boxes. So now that we accomplished our goal for today, I'm excited to jump back into something that I have been meaning to get back to for some time. But first, I want to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude to a local homestead and farm who's been a great source of inspiration. Jesse and Jamie over at Three Little Goats Homestead have been sharing their journey on YouTube. We are super grateful for all of their information over on the YouTube channel. But recently, I was looking for a soap tracker, you guys, and I so happened to find one. And guess where I found it? Three Little Goats had it on her website. So thank you, Jamie. I needed a soap tracker. I got that off of your website. But also, you guys, I found a soap recipe over there. So I've been meaning to incorporate cocoa butter into one of my soap recipes. And thanks, Jamie. I'm going to borrow your recipe as well. But you guys, let's go jump into making a loaf of soap and see what it turns out to be. So be sure to go check out Three Little Goats Homestead. They have been generous with sharing their knowledge and their wisdom over on their YouTube channel and on their website. So it's Three Little Goats on Three Little Goats Homestead on YouTube and Three Little Goats Homestead.com on the website. So be sure to check them out. Again, Jamie, thank you for letting me dig around on your website and borrow a few things. I appreciate the free printouts. I'm looking forward to all the other stuff that she has on her website because she has more than just soaping printouts. So check it out, you guys. If you need a little bit of an organization, she has you on that. So, all right, you guys, let's jump into it.
So we had a wonderful dinner in here, but cooking in here just raised the temperature. Look at it. 82 degrees in here. It is toasty. We're gonna go outside and enjoy some cool air because it's hot in here, guys. <laughs> Is it another one of your scary stories? Yes. What's this one about? Ah. <sighs> no power? No power. Yeah, no, we got. You know, we got stuff. So, what's the scary story? We still live in Arkansas. Dad, do you have a scary story? There it is, SOS. No. I know I could tell you that uh, Dominic and Nolan and Ben and uh, you get someone else, but uh, I took and told them I was going to bed and I walked around the camper, walked up in the woods got up above them and started making noise. And they all started hollering, get out of here. And I come rushing out and they thought, oh man, you really got us. Scared them? <laughs> yeah. I Dad, you remember you that never movie? never forgot that. 
Remember that movie, The Legend of Boggy Creek? Mm-hmm. You know that's here in Arkansas, right? Yeah. Yep. Boggy Creek is in Arkansas. Yeah. yeah. So they say Bigfoot's here, too. Well, a lot of land. Yeah. There's not so much, though, you wouldn't find the remains of a Bigfoot, do you think? Because the wilderness is just so vast that we can't find a Bigfoot. What? <laughs> Here we are at the end, guys. Yeah. We'll just do a real quick recap. What we got done. We got the grain. Yeah. We took care of some farm stuff. And I got my wires hooked up, guys, which is huge. It's massive to get that part done. It's like a, a weight lifted off of my shoulders. I'm feeling real... <laughs> feeling real good about it guys mm -hmm. you know what the next step is guys i don't if you do <laughs> put it in the comments down below guys because the next step is what you know what i mean wires never know you know what i mean what a day it was awesome we got work done i don't know how much i should be getting done but i'm getting it done something i'm getting it started yeah getting it started in here you know what i mean and then we had dinner with the fam mm -hmm. yeah Got to count those blessings, guys. Every dinner we can have with our with our family like that is a blessing. It is. Yeah, this is like it was it was unexpected almost this this visit from from my parents. Right. So it is like it's amazing to it get is. this opportunity again. Right. It is. So and we took advantage of it last night. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. How awesome was that, guys? We ate a good dinner. Mm -hmm. Then it got hot up in this dungeon, mm -hmm. right? So we went and did the next best thing. We went out and started a big old fire, <laughs> just in case it was wasn't hot enough out there too. Yeah, it was cool, guys. We sat around the fire. We told stories. We joked. It was a good. Brought time. back a lot of memories. It's stuff that we usually do as a family. We used to have big meals together when we would get together and we would go camping and just hang out outside and enjoy the outdoors so yeah brings back a lot of memories we love hanging out with them and we are so glad that you guys are here mom and dad we love you yeah i yeah. had a really good time with the stories last night babe yeah cool man did you guys have a good time with the stories because if you did right now is a perfect time you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a perfect time to give us one of them thumbs up. You guys be sure to give us a big thumbs up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got it in there again, guys. I might even fit one more in there. Yeah. <laughs> we will. We will right now. So. We will right now. You ready for this? You ready for this? All right, you guys. So we are going to get out of here. So if you are enjoying our content, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. A second one. Yeah. Ring that notification bell. Heck yeah, guys. Down there. When you do that, they're going to let you know when our content is available for viewing. Why is that so important? Because we're easy to forget. You know what I mean? We're so easy to forget. <laughs> we don't want you to forget us. So put us on the reminder. Be sure to share our videos, guys. I can't even thank you guys enough for every time that you do. And I notice it. And I wish I could do more. Ex except all I can do is thank you. For real, for real. Thank you guys for helping us. Because you make this journey possible. You do. We would figure it out, guys. But... Because you guys are helping us, you are part of our journey now. You are. You know what I mean? Because we could grateful. be, it could be like Walmart or McDonald's or something would be part of our story if that's what we had to do. Yeah. But it's not the case, guys. It's you. Yeah. You guys are making it possible. Yeah. So thank you very much, you guys. We yeah, appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's the next step, guys. The only logical thing after sharing is subscribing because you got to make sure that you're on that list. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, you guys. We love you. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. And we'll see you tonight on right. live. Peace. Bye. I got wires. Don't show them. Oh, you just gave them a sneak peek. All right, that's all you got.